Hey everybody, Steven here. Today I'm doing my official review on the Vox Pre M30 massage gun here. So the company was kind enough to reach out to me and send me one of these for free. I did an unboxing video, but now I actually am going to be doing the review after sitting with this for a couple weeks now and using it quite a bit, not only with myself, but with my clients as well. And I gotta say, I am really, really impressed with this thing. The Recover Fun has been my go-to one. It's been the most solid build out of any of these that I've gotten up until this point. I think this has actually replaced that. I think this is just a really, really good one. And I'm gonna talk about the differences here, but before we get into any of that stuff, let's just talk about the technical specs with this really, really quick. The Vox Pre M30 has five speeds. It has a 1200 to 3200 percussions per minute. It has six different interchangeable heads. It takes two to three hours to charge the 3400 milliamp official LG battery, and it lasts up to six hours per charge and only weighs 1.76 pounds. This features a 30 day money back guarantee and a one year quality guarantee. The Vox Pre has a 12 millimeter travel distance with it, which is pretty standard for most massage guns. This is currently listed on Amazon for $169 and it ships free with Prime, and currently there is a $20 off coupon, so this would be $149. All right, so those are the specs with this. I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently because in the past I've done it where I really just kind of give more details about the product and things like that, but I wanna talk about this in regards to not only the things that I really, really like about it, but also comparing it to these other ones here. We have the Exo Gun right here, and then we have the Recover Fun. This, I really, really like. This has become my daily driver. I use this one the most for one main reason, and that's the size here. This is much smaller than these other ones here. And it doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal, but when you're holding this and it's really light and it's a smaller form factor, it's just easier to use for longer periods of time. Now, this is the 169. It is a little bit more expensive. The Exo gun here is 200, and I have a $20 off code that I have with this. I'll make sure all this stuff is in the description. But with that, it does have the 20 bucks off right now, which is awesome. I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm going to try to get a code for this if I can from the company. If I do, that'll be in the description as well for you guys. So hopefully this does make this a little bit cheaper. But still, at $150, this is more expensive than this Recover Fun gun here, which is $99, okay? This is a very solid build. Up until this point, this has been the massager that I have liked the most out of all of them that I've reviewed. It's a solid build. Um, it just has really, really good attachments, specifically this one right here, which I haven't seen with any, actually I can't take that, I gotta take that back, because there's been one other gun that had one similar, it just wasn't as good as this, but this double dome one here, I just love this thing in terms of especially working on my traps in my neck. This one's really, really good. Now this doesn't have that, but this is $100 compared to the 150. But the upside with this, it has six attachments. The Recover Fun has five. The Exo Gun has four. But the difference here is that the Exo Gun is the most powerful one I've used to date. These two have that 12 millimeter kind of travel distance with this. This actually has 16. Most of these you'll see actually have the 3200 percussions per minute. That's pretty standard. But the, with the greater travel distance here, this has more power. So this one is in terms of power comparable to this or any other massager that I've seen, but the Exo Gun is the most powerful one so that if that's something that, hey, I need more power, you're probably gonna go with the Exo Gun there. But with this, the upside, yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, but the Recover Fund, you can't buy that on Amazon. The fact that this will ship free with Prime. Now I have a $5 off coupon with this and you can actually get this shipped essentially for five bucks, so it kind of covers that. But it's also gonna take a week and a half, two weeks typically to get to you. Two days, ships free with Prime. 30-day money-back guarantee, and then they're gonna cover the parts and the quality of this for a year. 
Most of these have some type of quality control, right? They're gonna have like a warranty for a year. I've kind of seen that across the board. Where I kind of get hung up is if this is shipping out of China, keep in mind, all of these are made in China. But if this is shipping out of there, it takes a little bit more time. If something goes wrong with this and they are going to cover it, well, now I'm sending it off. I don't know how long it takes, anything like that. I get to run this all through Amazon. It just makes it an easier thing to deal with. So I do really, really like that. So the size is a, a big issue for me. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it'd be that big of an upside, but it really, really is. This is more travel friendly because of that. I'm not gonna necessarily haul this around, right? Now they do all have carrying cases and these are pretty much the standard that you see, this kind of rectangle shape here that's this thick. This one is different, not only in terms of the shape of it, right? But it's not as wide. That's gonna be one of the big things that you'll see and it's not as thick. So because of the slim form factor with it, it is a little bit more travel friendly in terms of the case. But to be honest, this is small enough. Take the attachment off. I'll just put this in my backpack, right? And I mean, I have to hold this button down to turn it on. So most likely it's not going to turn on, which is really, really nice. Now, it doesn't have an LCD screen on it like the XO gun does, but I think that's more personal preference. I actually like it when they don't have that. I just like the, the buttons on the side here. And uh, five speeds here versus three that I've seen with some other ones. And it doesn't do like the XO gun. You get to actually scale it all the way up. It goes from one to 30. So it gives you all of those in between notches. I do like that. I consider that an upside with the XO gun. But with the five different ones here, I think these are all really, really good with that. The other big thing with this is the attachments. It has the four regular ones that you see, although the design is different from some of the other ones that I've seen and aesthetically, I think they look pretty cool, but the two different ones are gonna be right here. So this is a rounded metal top here, and then we have a flathead metal top here. This is going to basically be comparable to the plastic one that you typically see. But with this, because it has the metal on top here, the cool thing that that allows for is it glides across your clothes better than these other ones, especially anything that's rubber, where it's actually just going to pull on the clothes a little bit, right? This glides very easily, and that's something I really, really like. It's just easy to glide across. Now, if you're a massage therapist and you use different oils and stuff like that, I can actually almost like kind of like use this as a little bit of a scraping tool to roll across somebody's body now with this. Right? So this is one I've been using a ton right here, this particular attachment, and I like this. And then just across your skin, just easy to use. I really, really like this. And like I said, you get the standards with this. So we have the flat kind of general overall one right here. We have our very pinpointed one right here. We have our soft foam kind of ball or dome here. And this is for any very, very sensitive tissue. The bullet is obviously for any tissue that I can dig really, really good into. We have our cervical spine. This is more kind of like a U or a V. And then we have these two here, which we have our rounded top and then our flat top here. And these are just general overall use ones. So I like the attachments with this. It does come with a cool little bag you could throw the attachments in this and then put this in your backpack. It just travels really, really easily, which is awesome. It comes with a manual and then they also give you two of the rubber rings here and then one of the little seals. I wish they would have given you one more with this and essentially that's at the base of these attachments and it's how it actually sticks inside of the massager here. And all of these have that and all of them typically ship with two to four replacements because as this part wears out right here what will happen is inside of this it can't hold firm so it'll actually pop out the raxonics i had that one and their fitting was off and i actually turned the gun on and it just shot the attachment out the difference that this has also though right that's standard but something that is different is the two little rubber like o-rings right here I haven't had a massager that has this and essentially it actually has two points on top of this that hold it firm inside the gun. 
I think that's pretty cool because then it just really solidifies, hey, this probably isn't going to slip. And then we have two areas that are kind of like gonna hold it as almost like a backup. So maybe it starts to, and then it catches. So wouldn't it just shoot out from the gun like the Raxonics does? So we have that. I love the attachments. Um, I like the fact, by the way, that this battery is just completely built in. It's not a detachable battery. The Exo gun is like that. The Recover Fun is detachable, but I've talked about it in other videos. Like I'm probably never going to detach the battery. And that becomes an issue because as you kind of mess with it, eventually that seal is going to start to slip and then you're gonna have noise because that battery is going to rattle. Not gonna be an issue with this, which I really, really like. Charging point, port on the bottom. And we have the charger here, um, different shape. I do like the little light here that just indicates to you, hey, this is actually charging or it's fully charged. They do say two to three hours to charge with this. Um, kind of standard for the info with this. I know people ask, but the input is 100 to 240 volts. It's 50 to 60 Hertz at 0.5 amps max. Output is DC 16.8 volts or 800 milliamps with this. So we do have this a little bit smaller than the other chargers that I've gotten with these other guns. And like I said, just pops right into the bottom here. And I've gotten a ton of use out of this. I've actually only had to charge it once over the last couple weeks. And with this being the official LG battery, I like that. The other ones, they don't really tell you, but with this being LG, I know for some people it's not gonna be a big deal, but I just they have a major brand backing the battery. That's just something I think is, is really, really cool. It just means this is a quality product with that. And with the smaller form factor of a little bit larger battery, this gets the six hours where most of these get four. That's a lot of time, right? I could legitimately take this on a trip, not have to bring the charging cable if it's just like a weekend trip or a week trip and be completely fine using it 10, 20 minutes a day, right? You wouldn't have an issue. I think that's awesome with this. So like I said, this is officially my daily driver and it is my, my favorite out of all of these at this point. So the price point, the 50 extra bucks compared to the Recover Fun, I mean, that's gonna really boil down to you guys. Do you need something that's smaller? Do you like the notion of these two attachments? Or do you like the notion of this rubber on right here? Like I said, it still comes with the regular standard four ones that all of these come with, but do you want this one? And then do you want something that is a little bit cheaper, right? I think Amazon Prime is gonna be something to consider with that as well in the fact that this will get here in two days, right? That's really, really awesome. So that is it, everybody. Um, if you guys have any questions, maybe there's something that I didn't cover with this, I will definitely answer those questions in the comment section for you. And like I said, I can't say it enough. This has officially become my favorite one. I have another one coming in that we're gonna test here pretty soon. But uh, out of, I think this makes seven or eight now, this is definitely my favorite. The Recover Fun is a close second, and then the Exo Gun here is probably third as of right now. So that is it, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.